going on guys? Today I'm looking for your help with something actually. So I have a couple of things running through my head about my office and what I can do to my office. So I'll give you a bit of a background. This is an office that I have at my parents house. Uh, during lockdown, um, the first Sydney lockdown, I actually set up this office so that I could work from here, away from the kids where it's a bit chaotic. Um, and also I don't have a spare bedroom or room at home to use as an office. And as most of you guys in IT would know, or anyone really that's got an office job, you need, your, you need your comfort, you need your monitors, you need your keyboard, you need everything laid out. I like to keep everything very simple. Um, even looking at my desk right now, I feel like it's a bit cluttered, but that's yeah all part of this video. So I actually am trying to decide whether I should uh, refurb this office. So get a desk that sort of comes up same height, um, but built into the wall, uh, or maybe potentially one that goes up and down so I can do sit stand, but also wraps around uh, the room in an L shape. I'm thinking about doing some shelving on the walls. Uh, at the same time, I don't know if maybe I should just do a small renovation at my house. I uh, have a bit of a uh, old pergola in my backyard that I'm thinking about closing up. I'll show you guys a bit later. But basically I can close it up, do the flooring, um, do the walls and do a completely new office there. The reason I'm sort of in both minds is because I've done about three or four renovations at home and I know that whatever budget you have, you should probably double it or triple it. And that leaves me to sort of try and weigh out the, the benefits and the costs as well. Because um, I know things like aircon and plumbing and painting and tiling, all that stuff adds up really quickly. Whereas here, all I have to do is get a new desk, do a wrap around, maybe spend some money on some shelving, um, but then it's not at my house. And as many of your IT guys know, sometimes when you're working on a problem for a few days or a few nights, sometimes you get the solution in the middle of the night, like you'll be dozing off or you'll be relaxing or having a nap or something after thinking about it all day and suddenly you get the idea. You're like, oh, I need to go, I need to go and, and, and apply that solution or try the solution. So I want to be able to get up and just walk over to my office, whereas at the moment I have to get in a car and drive here. So there's, there's, there's positives and negatives about both, and I'm sort of trying to weigh it out, and maybe you guys can help me understand, help me decide. Maybe I'll give you guys a bit of a tour around here. So this here is my desk. It's a pretty average desk from Ikea, I believe. Um, it's a sit-stand desk, but it's not really big enough for me. I like to have only very few things on my desk, but I also like to have the room to have more things on my desk. Like if I need to build something, I want to have a desk maybe here on the side with another monitor that I can actually use to build. And also I think there's a bit of dead space here that I'd like to utilize a bit better. If we wrap around, this is where I want the wrap around, but I don't know if it really works with the window there. We have my office plant, which I will keep regardless whether we refurb this office or not. And my, I don't know what this is, a bookshelf that I've reutilized, but I think it's time to get rid of all of these. Maybe keep the books and the Lego and Toretto's charger. But I think in general I have to get rid of all of this and make better use of that space there. Yeah, I'll take you over to my to my house now. I'm just on the way back home now. So I'm going to show you guys the pergola at the back that I'm thinking about turning into an office. Um, but just before I do that, I actually, I've, so I've got a Volkswagen Golf uh, that I've had for a year or so. Um, you guys can, if you're interested in cars, you can have a look and uh, watch the video of me racing it around the track. Uh, I'll leave the link in the, in, the, in the tile or in the comments below or in the description. 
Uh, you can have a look at that if you like. But anyway, I'm just going to go there first because they've actually offered to buy it back from me for very close price to what I paid for it after a year of ownership. And as most of you car guys would know, that is pretty uncommon. Uh, so to own a car for a year and for it to only depreciate a very small amount is very unusual. But because of the uh, lack of cars coming into the country, uh, there is a massive gap in the market for people who want to buy cars compared to how many cars are actually coming in from Germany, for example. So I'm going to take advantage of that. I'm going to sell this car, this 2020 Volkswagen Golf R, and I'm going to buy something else, which I actually may have already bought. And I have also received news that it might already be on the ship. So maybe I'll show you guys that as well when it comes in. But for now, I'm going to go to the VW dealership, speak to them, and then we'll go back to my house. So this is the uh, old pergola that I thought I might make an office. Um, there's not much to it. I use it at the moment it stores all my kids' toys and stuff. So I'm thinking about closing up the walls, um, doing some bit of flooring, and redo the ceiling. And that way I can not have my nice stay-at-home sort of um, uh, desk or environment, office environment, because at the moment, uh, as most IT guys know, what happens to you in the middle of the night is that you go, that's the solution. I realized, I, you sometimes just realize, you know, what you've been thinking about all day. You're like, oh, I got it. I got, I know what I need to do. So you need to run and get to that computer before you forget. At the moment, I can't do that because I've got to jump in a car and drive to my parents' house where my office is. So this would be perfect because I just come into the office. So I was thinking about having um, some sliding doors, maybe either here or on this side to let the light in. But that means I'm also going to need aircon, which that, that's a bit of a headache um, because then all the cost of things start adding up. Um, that's about it, really. So the only one problem I have is here, which I'll, I'll go back a bit in a second, I'll show you. Um, I'm worried that the water is going to start falling towards the, uh, the wall that I put in. Even though there's a drain there, I'm a bit worried that it's going to pool around here. Maybe I was thinking maybe to just raise the floor a bit and let the water go underneath, but I'm not a builder, so I don't know. I've done a few renovations and I know that it gets very costly, which is why I've been a bit hesitant to go down this route, but we'll see, I guess. That was super, super quick. So I went to the dealership. Uh, they offered me a price for the car and they wanted to take it there and then. And I said, okay, I'll be back in half an hour because uh, I need to empty out a few things. Uh, so I went home, emptied out a few things, and now I'm on the way back to drop it off. And I'm gonna go back to having one car. I do have another car I can drive around daily. Uh, but for now, yeah, Volkswagen Golf R is gone. Had a lot of fun in this car in the last year or 13 months or so. So sad to see it go, but onward and upward.